Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. You know that I like silky saws, and I know a lot of you do too. But what's the best way to carry it? Stay tuned to find out. When you first get your silky saw, either from an online retailer or from a brick and mortar store, it's going to come in a plastic case like this. Now, this is the Gomboy 240 with the curved blade and it is the medium teeth. I prefer that for bushcrafting and I have a video on this and I can place a link to it right up here. So when you get your case, it comes just like this. It's a plastic hard case and remember these were originally designed for arborists, people that professionally work with trees and pruning and things like that. So it has this sort of a belt clip, fastens into a little notch up here on the top and I suppose that's okay, but to me it doesn't seem very secure. And the last thing I want this to do is to fall off my belt when I'm carrying it through the woods. And you have to open this in order to remove the lid to extract the saw. So it's a little bit of a cumbersome system. It's great for transport, it's great for storage, but it's not a really good option to carry on your belt or on your backpack. Another option that you can get is the Silky Case Boy. And this is made out of rubber. It's nice and flexible. It's got a really rubbery, flexible attachment for your belt. And it comes loose, just like that. So that's pretty handy. And this is a great way to carry it. And of course, this fits several sizes. It will fit the Gomboy 240. It will also fit the Ultra XL. But you got to put it in this way. And I like this one as well, the Ultra XL 240. So it does really well for that and it is a multi-size case. This costs about $30 on Amazon. In a winter situation, I prefer to carry a much larger saw. This is the Silky Big Boy 2000 Professional, and I really like this saw a lot. This is great for processing a lot of firewood in a short amount of time. And the other thing is, I also have a very large saw. I have the Katana Boy 500, which I have done in another video but it sometimes is a little too big to carry in your pack. So this big boy case, and I'll make sure and put a link to it down below in the uh, description box, but this works really well, again, for carrying your very large saw. And uh, that way it will not come out. And it also has the same type of snapping fasten system that you can use to carry it on your belt. So that's a pretty good deal right there. And uh, it's pretty nice for these larger saws. However, I was at a military surplus store and I happened to find this pop flare pouch. And you can get these as well on Amazon. They're about $15. The other two cases I showed you run about $30 a piece. And so I actually bought this in a bin of $5 items. I like it because it has the Molly system to fit on your pal's uh, webbing. Of course, easily can fit on a belt. You can adjust it. You're familiar with this. It's also adjustable and has Velcro, so it will fit a couple different size saws, but it happens to fit the Gomboy 240 just perfectly, just like it was made for it, and it holds it very securely, and that way I can carry it on my belt. If any of you are still wondering, yes, I am still using my Savota pack, and this is the medium. I like it a lot. It's great. It carries all my gear, and I use this a lot for teaching my classes. What I like about it, of course, is not only the size, but the modularity, where you can add pouches to it. And right here, right next to my tourniquet, is a perfect place to put my silky saw. And so here it is, nestled really securely and fastened in to my backpack, where it's very easily accessible on the outside of my pack. I don't have to carry it on the inside anymore and worry about it poking anything. Comes out very easily, goes back in and then fasten securely. Of course, you can adjust it, the tightness with this. And there it is. It also fits very well on the belt. So when I'm out and about in the woods and I want to leave my pack back at camp to go cut some firewood, I can easily just attach it to my belt. And then, of course, I don't have to stick it in my pocket. It's very accessible, very quick to pull out. And uh, this doesn't weigh a whole lot, so it doesn't add a lot of weight to my pack and it ensures that I can carry my saw with me very securely and safely down through the woods. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. 
And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our Southern Ohio training facility. Also, you'll find our spring link, which is where you can buy Waypoint Survival branded merchandise, as well as our Patreon link. And a great big thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel during these last several months. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.